Welcome Capricorn to your August love bonus reading. I hope everybody is doing well. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So quick note, as you all know, we are entering a Virgo season that will be going on. Oops, whoa, hold on. I didn't, well, somebody's watching you, okay? So <laughs> right off the bat, right? I'm just shuffling the situations. I was gonna use these, but someone um, definitely has eyes for you. They're fascinated and watching. So we're gonna keep that out, kind of creepy. This person could have colored eyes. Or you guys could have colored eyes. I'm not saying you're a creep, but this person may be really just focused on you. All right, as I was saying, um, yeah, so the Virgo season is going to be going through September 22nd, okay? So um, that's when the sun, you know, is moving through the sign of Virgo. But this is super important time because it brings in, like, great energy, as in getting more grounded in your hustle. It's about your well-being, your health, okay? Um, clearing out your space, any negativity. This is being more organized here. So definitely it's all to prepare you for long-term goals or new goals, but it is important to get rest at this time, okay? Um, and not to overwork yourself too much, but it's more of grounding yourself. And I think it's a, it's a great push and great for balance. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in to your reading. We're gonna start off with the AF tarot deck and then we'll move into the soul cards. Your cards have already been shuffled. I will shuffle this a couple more times. That focus energy though, somebody is definitely focused on you. Oh, I can see why. <laughs> Delays in communication. All right, so you're maybe not, you know, giving uh, somebody attention at this time or you're not really, communicating with them it feels like or maybe they're not communicating with you but they're definitely watching you in some way or focused or you're on their mind I'm um, somebody's feeling left out in the cold oh, okay seven of swords some type of confusion someone could be not acting right here and revealing something to you maybe really not confessing the truth but you're seeing the truth. You're seeing how this person operates. Okay, I don't feel like you're seeing any more progress or things moving forward, but there is a message coming in for you guys. Um, here, as we have self-awareness, profound change, metamorphosis. So definitely somebody is needing some type of an awakening. Our awakening is coming in uh, regarding the situation. This person, um, may not be self-aware about their actions here or needing some change, but I feel like you're seeing very clear within this energy. Okay, so there's definitely some changes happening regardless. Let's get more into it, Capricorn. Ooh, the high priestess in reverse. So this is more stating that there's a lot of secrets that are going to be revealed. Things are hidden. You could be coming... Um, you could be more of in silent mode for lots of you. But this is also connecting with your intuition and listening to it, okay? Because it's it's trying to tell you something. Yeah, this person is feeling a bit weak and it's hard to face some type of fear or face themselves in the mirror I'm getting. And then we also have the Nine of Pentacles energy. Someone could be very codependent here with the Nine of Pentacles in the challenge. This is more of an um, independent card. So this energy... I feel right now is like has to have other energies around them okay so this person could be very codependent um, here even though they're if they're with somebody they're not satisfied they have to have other energies too it's like they need constant some type of attention yeah releasing toxicity now the devil could be substance it could be um out you know drinking over parting also could be a desire lust okay um something that kept you bonded to this person and i feel now you're releasing this person here is very confused um they're in their mind they're having a lot of like like they're, they they can't really know what's going on with your energy they can't read you at this time yeah they're not sure why like what is going on okay again they're not self-aware so for you, you're seeing clear and you know that this person may be not the best 
connection because of their deceitful ways or how they may be using some type of tactics on you that you've been seeing a lot clearer because you're coming out of any confusion. You're knowing why there's setbacks and confusion with this energy because you're seeing clearly. You maybe have ignored your intuition at one point, which we, you know, we do a lot. That's a normal thing. When we see red flags, we're like, hmm, but you're, but there's so much other great things about you. And I feel like that may be why you're, this person may be confused because you're kind of like, taking a step back okay maybe not acknowledging their toxicity for some of you guys you're just making sign like moving silently the fool here and what you don't see coming in your environment is something that is hard to let go okay i feel like this person's action towards you could be coming more and more isolated i feel like they're becoming more and more like consumed by you okay because and there's a lot of confusion. <clears throat> it's like now they're confused. Um, and the fool is not quite letting go or having the confidence to take that leap of faith to new beginnings. So there might be some stagnant energy as there's feeling, feeling stuck in the past. Okay. Or feeling like you're just stuck in, in just the memories and like the investment or something like that, that keeps bringing you back to this person. This could be your person too. And then we have the two of wands. Yeah, making a hard decision, you know, and there's, there could be a feeling of like feeling hurt by this person or feel betrayed or just feels like, you know, they didn't have the best intentions for you. Um, but with the three of swords, I mean, this is healing from the situation, the overall energy. It's really trusting the unknown here, Capricorn. And I feel like that's what you're doing. And the more that you're, if you've been giving this person nothing but attention and, you know, following through with this energy and being, you know, loving and caring and attentive, and now you pulled that away, it's definitely going to confuse them because now they are watching you. Now they are observing what is your next move. It's like you're showing more of a side of you that, it's like they don't deserve that anymore. They don't deserve your attention, your love, your emotion at this time because you're seeing what they're doing. And that is making them fixated on you. So it's like what Capricorn just did like a total, what is it, 180, 360? <laughs> All right, let's get the situations and see what's coming through. Oh, actually, I wanted to pull, I made this little deck for you guys. It's just my writing and I don't have cute writing. So, but I just, I'm going to pull some cards and see what type of energies are coming out right now. Pushing away, telling you to leave, neglect, neglectful and careless. Okay. So a lot of you guys could be going through that or experienced that with that person. Let's see what else we have. Drinking substance and risky behavior and forgiveness second chances and working things out okay yeah because there's a lot of stuck stagnant energy and i feel like this person is you know you could have forgave them more than once here but they could have other things that they're doing behind the scenes like there's just too much happening behind the scenes and you're feeling some type of darkness with this energy okay for you to be you know kind of taking a step back and looking at it now okay all right because the moon is mystery lots of mystery so someone here could be in a long-term relationship or you could have invested a lot of your time with this person and now it's a pause okay someone could have been pretending um or living beyond means this is more of a card that could say like you know, I have this and this and this, but really don't even have a job or I'm doing this and this and this, but really they're not doing that. Okay. Or I, this is my car, but they don't really have a car. It's their mom or dad's car, you know, <laughs> or their sister's car. Like this is a, a very like foot, like this is a facade that this person, you know, and I feel like that's where the devil is coming in and you're seeing through this mask that they're wearing. Okay. Yeah, TikTok. Someone is feeling like they're the time is running out. They're feeling the pressure. Hmm. That's probably why they have such a close eye on you. Yeah, they're wanting to confess, which Seven of Swords is about confession. 
So everything that was like kind of confusing you, like things are going to be coming into light. The truth is going to come out regardless. Yeah, we have karmic third party situation. Someone could have put you in a third party situation and feeling regretful and mental prison and confined by you now. Um, I don't even feel like this person even wants to be in a in the in their relationship here, but they're so codependent. It's like they're just staying there. Okay. Yeah, it's like they don't this person also for some of you could be married or this could be you finally just like kind of divorcing this poor person or separating this with this person. Um, okay, because there is some type of um, lesson here with karmic and this person has a lot of karma. And I feel you may be getting out of that karma that they're in because um, you were possibly getting stuck in it, right, with them. Yeah, because there's a releasing the devil here. We'll see what they have to say to you. Oof, this person, I mean, we do have the outcome. So there may be, a, you know, a lot of healing and a lot of, you know, things that are still needing to be healed here with the Six of Cups. Strong soulmate energy, it feels like. Uh, but... I'm telling you, this, this energy is filling up in their head and they can't get you off their mind. I feel like I'm not good enough for you. You deserve better than me. One-sided relationship. Yeah, so if it is a third party or something like that, or this person is in a relationship, it definitely didn't feel good, right? Um, or this could be this person trying to always have things their way, but now that you're changing things up, it's making them confused and having a lot of like, um, mental confusion here and it says there is a third party and then it says I have sexual fantasies about you so a lot of attraction here and then we have fights arguments in conflict okay wow let's see how you're doing over here what's next for Capricorn okay so we do have fear and rest Yes. So there could be a feeling of releasing some fear at this time, fearing of the unknown, making a choice here. And there, there is a need for lots of rest at this time since you are going through some type of transformation or things are being revealed to you here. So if you're needing to rest, rest. Okay. Take time for yourself here. And then we have endurance. So I feel like you could only go up from here, um, Capricorn. Let's see if there's anything new coming in, okay? Ooh, this feels like a very, um, you know, like a very strong love connection, lots of chemistry, but also this person feels a bit dark though, and like they hit a lot, you know? Like they hit a lot. Yeah, see, chemistry is coming in. So we have, there's a strong magnetic attraction here and possible conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Now, you are dealing with a devil energy. So if this person you, you know, can be gaslighting, okay, when they talk to you to keep you in the third party, um, because you are you I feel like you are wanting to get out of this I do feel like this may be a karmic cycle for a lot of you guys and then for others of you I do see that you are removing your energy and it's taking some time you know um there is some type of fear though or something that could be creeping up and that I feel that a lot of prayer meditation cleansing your space you know buying something new for yourself uh, and organizing at this time um I feel like that will help you know, um, and a lots of rest will help with this uh, situation that you're currently in or the stagnant energy, okay? Hmm. Very interesting. All right, so we have balance and criticizing. Your intuition's here. So it's t it's really asking you to trust it. What you feel, what you see is real, okay? Because the devil can really... You're, there's a devil energy here, and I feel like you're releasing the toxicity in this person as you are removing your energy or, you know, causing some delays in their life. They're getting more confused. So they're, they're the ones that are attached to this devil because the more that you move the more confused, the more isolated they get, the more worried they get, you know, 
Um, so we have balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both challenges, that both supports and challenges. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Okay. Um, so yeah, I do feel like possibly for some communication, I would just watch out for the devil energy as there could be some gaslighting. And then we have this on top of the deck, which is power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you do, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Okay. Remember fear is not to be trusted in, this is not to be trusted here. So that's why I feel like rest is needed. There could be some sleepless nights for you guys um, when it comes to this energy. And for some, okay, a lot of you maybe just have gotten out of this in, in the healing process. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you, Capricorn. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it helped or brought clarity into your situation or your life. Um, and if it did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon. God bless.